seat right. at, at this company. And so I just think over time we should be considered we want the best banking system in the world. Amen to the that. Gentleman Thank you. from I Michigan, yield back. Ms. Tlaib, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Thank you all so much for being here. Every day, uh, my residents in my district faced environmental hazards that threatened their ability to thrive. For students at Munger Elementary Middle School in my district, this means increased absences because of asthma attacks caused by pollution in the air. And I want you all to just let it, that sink in. The air is too polluted for kids to be able to go to school and learn. Our country's over-reliance on fossil fuels has a disproportionate burden on poor and vulnerable communities like mine, where the dirtiest polluters exist side by side with neighborhoods, neighborhoods I grew up in, uh, where I thought that smell was normal, where one of children have asthma. So this question goes to all of you. Do you all believe actions matter? Do you all believe actions matter? Do you believe, as the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco wrote recently, do you believe that climate change is a serious risk to the financial system, not, not to mention the planet? You should know. Can you ask that again? I'm sorry. Do you believe that climate change is a serious risk to the financial system, not only the planet? Yes. I would say not directly to the financial system, mm -hmm. but I think climate change is real and we should be taking action immediately to do something about it, and most of it's going to have to be legislation. If we don't have a, if we don't have a planet, we're not going to have a very good financial system. So, That's right. Yes. I agree with my colleagues, and I agree uh, that, and we believe at Bank of America, we take action on it. I do agree. I do agree there are knock-on effects to the financial system. I do agree. Would you be willing to restrict, limit, or change what your bank finances, uh, w what your bank finances, if you're found, if found out, it is making the climate change worse in our country or in our world? Would you change some of your behavior? I, I believe we already have started that. Uh huh. All of you. Yeah, we we there, we've already started that. We agree it's important. In the meantime, the United States does need energy to eat, mm -hmm. drive, get here, heat ventilate hospitals, and there's a smart way to do this and a not smart way to do this. Yes. We believe that, uh, and we already have done, taken action. We have taken action. Yes. We have and continue to take action. I'm glad um, that you're all agreeing. But a report released two weeks ago shows that fossil fuel lending and underwriting is dominated by big U.S. banks four of which are sitting right here in front of us. Chase, Wells Fargo City, as well as Bank of America, our top four banks in the world financing fossil fuel industry. Uh, Mr. Diamond, your bank alone has provided more than $195 billion in fossil fuel lending and underwriting over the past three years since signing of the Paris Climate Agreement, making your bank the number one funder of fossil fuels in the world. Citi, Mr. Corbett, has provided more than $129 billion in fossil fuel funding over the past three years, number three in the world. Mr. Monahan, Bank of America has provided more than 106 billion fossil fuel funding over the past three years, making it number four in the world. I want folks, don't say that you're committed to clean and sustainable financing because your company's words are not consistent with your actions. I would call this gaslighting. That's kind of what we call it in the neighborhood. But for the sake of this hearing, I'll say that you are greenwashing your own track record and duping the American people into believing that you are helping address climate change. On the record, will any of your banks make a commitment to phase out your investments in fossil fuels and dirty energy and align your investments with the, core, the goals of Paris Climate Agreement to help protect our planet and communities I grew up in? That goes to all of you, if you guys can answer that. Mr. Corbett? We, have, um, we, we are in the business of supporting fossil fuel companies, many of which are US-based companies. We have um, put out significant programs. In fact, we've financed $150 billion of clean projects in recent history, and we keep raising the bar on ourselves. And, and uh, uh, 
you know, continuing to evolve with our companies towards better and cleaner practices. Yeah, Mr. Diamond. So for J.P. Morgan Chase alone, 2020, we are going to be green. So for those our data centers, our people, our, our, uh, where we work, et cetera. Uh, we also finance uh, something like $200 billion a year green. Uh, we have a, a thorough risk committee that makes sure every company do business with does things right under the law. Uh, and we're helping some of these companies make a transition to a greener future. But if you want to fix this problem, you are going to have to do something like a carbon tax slash carbon dividend. Uh, we won't want the institutions you name, but I'm happy to uh, to answer the question. I mean, we, we're, we're obviously, the, the trade-off is finding the balance between uh, a viable economy and reducing fossil fuel at the same time and replacing with clean energy. The gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Gonzalez, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here for your attention today. Um, I think we've, 